I'm getting prepared here. Okay. Gotta start a couple stretches. Ugh. They can't even see what you just did to me. No, they can't. He's... He's pushing my head out of the way. Gotta stretch. Boxing ring. Let's toss it. <laughs> All right, come on. I can take it. I can take it. Hello. One part of my eyes closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, welcome to Straw Family Park. I'm Christy. I pushed out a frame. I'm Sylvester the Cat. Yeah. Okay, in what? the chapel. I can take it. I can take it. Palms. Take it with one. One eighteen. Twenty-four. Verse twenty-four. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What's that mean, son? You're supposed to be happy. Don't, Don't worry, worry. Be <laughs> happy. <laughs> okay. So, that's that. What's up next? In the barn stalls. What are you doing? Eating dinner. I already gave you one plate. This is seconds, isn't it? You go that first one a plate? That was more like an appetizer. Mm-hmm. He's a grilling boy. Just mac and cheese and wings, but you can see he's got a whole plate full, and that's his second plate. Correct. First one was a little plate. It was not. It was the same plate. There's something in my hair. I think it's mac and cheese. Anyway, all right. In the as barn long stalls. As there's not a hair in this, we're good. In the barn stalls, there's an outside horse here. Correct. Mm -hmm. yep. Who is he? His name's Toby. Right. Yep. What's he here for, and how's he doing? Doing good. Here to be recovering open horse. Okay. And how's he doing at that? Good. Good. Is he catching on? Yep. Yep. He was already broke to ride. He just needed a job. Okay. What else has been going on? Chickens are now free range. They yep. go back to the coop every night, right? And I took down all the panels around it. And the geese chase you around. They do. They don't chase me. They, I feed them, so they chase me. No. So you throw them feed, then they stop. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Holly got stuck in with the big steer, bear. Well, how'd that happen? She pushed her way in. And? And I locked the gate behind her. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. You chased her around trying to get her out, and she wouldn't come out. So I locked so the gate then behind <laughs> her. <laughs> 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 How evil was that? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, guys, sound horrible. Oh, I give me chills in my back thinking that a person fish should make that noise. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, we have the four baby ducks and a mama in the barn, correct? Because we started losing baby ducks, correct? Yep. We think the geese were after them. Because you had to stand there and watch them, and it's horrible. So, and then the little white duck, we're trying to find him. He disappears, and he comes back. He disappears, and he comes back. But what's wrong with the white duck? He's got bad eyes. He's really old, too. Yep. Hey, I bet you, you got him when you were still in forage. Without open. opening your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I can sit here and poke, 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 poke. Because <laughs> he's not going to see me doing it. <laughs> that was funny. Um. Anyway, so oh, your hair's a mess. Fix I it. I really care. Fix it. See, your eyes are open. They are not. You didn't fix it either. Fix it. You're a dork. Okay, so the little white duck. He's how old? Old as dirt. Happen to be one of the oldest ones on the farm. He's the oldest poultry that we have, correct? Okay. Yep. Well, no, we've got one little old called the little ru no, little ruin. No. He is the oldest Old. one, isn't he? He's the oldest duck, and he was actually in the runs over here when they were before we even built the barn years ago. Correct. You were still in 4-H. You showed him. Yep. So, and you quit showing poultry the last part of 4-H. Good lord. I bet you he's 10 years old. If not more. 
You think? He wasn't a baby when we bought him. No, he wasn't. Huh. It's amazing that he's still alive, to be honest with you. So anyway, there's that going on. How is uh, Hobbs doing? Which one's Hobbs? The bottle baby. Oh, Kevin. yeah. Little black man. My baby, baby, you got me. Wild child. <laughs> He's not on Take a bottle anymore. Down. He's not on the bottle anymore. Why not? She couldn't catch him anymore. It takes two of us to go out there and catch him, huh? Look, I open my go. eyes. You gotta... <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I missed up my you gotta, eyelashes. You gotta corner him, and it takes two of us, huh? Yep. Once you catch him, he'll latch onto the bottle and he'll drink it. But, is he starving without it? No. Okay. He eats plenty of feet. He gets right in there, sticks his nose in there, <laughs> and he's in with one other calf now? Four. No. Three others. There's four of them in the Who all's in there? The white one. Ears. Fuzzy. In other words, and he hops. hasn't named them. No, no, we named the red one ears. Because his ears always plop up. Yeah, but... And then there's the white one. We call him Whitey. And then there's that Why black one. Why is the white one in there? Because he fits on them perfectly. Gotcha. Okay. And the other ones were bullying on him, so I just poked him in. Put him back in there? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. We're, um, what else in the barn stalls? Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, we had visitors. Who came back to visit? Who came back to visit? Ah! Storm. And how did she act? Like a maniac. She came back and... They had never seen her buck and snort and stomp and carry on, had they? Nope. And they got to see her do that now. We put her out here in this pen after she'd been riding for like eight hours. And she uh, started just, she remembered, I mean, she looked out to the pasture and was nickering and whinnying and, and looking for Precious out there. And, of course, Precious is with Carson. So, uh... Now, there's something really cool going on with them that we'll tell you about here in a little bit, right? Yep. Um, but anyway, she was so happy, and even the new owners, Ross and Joe and Sherry, were just ecstatic to see her acting that way. They were like, oh my gosh, she is so happy. And I said, yeah, she's home. And I asked Ross, I said, do you feel like she's kind of betray you. He goes, no, because she's going home with me. So she'll be just as happy to get to our home, he hopes. <laughs> you know? But um, he says if she's just, if she's that happy to be back at your house, think about how happy she'll be when she gets back to my house and has her own run and turnout and stuff and doesn't have to share the, her old stall with his other horse. And so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, she came to visit. She's doing awesome. There was, she had a vitamin deficiency. Now remember, they don't feed her much different than we do. It's the difference in the hay and the supplements that are in the ground from where it's grown. Um, and she's now from Louisiana and not here. So she had a supplement deficiency that nearly killed her, did she not? Yep. It brought Ross and Joe both to their knees. They were both falling and then they got with the, the dot and it was magnesium, I believe. Um, that got her all gut tied or whatever and they started on that supplement it's never happened again has it no nope. so that's a good thing uh, she also had a problem at one point with colic right um, nope. I thought he said she almost colic that one day no that's what he was talking about oh tying okay up. tying it up so it wasn't colic he thought it was colic right that's what he thought and it, it wasn't. It was the magnesium. Okay. Yep. So, um, anyway, anything else in the barn stalls? We we'll get on to the good news here in a little bit. No. We have good news? Mending fences. What'd you fix this week? Everything and anything that broke. Because nothing broke. But he didn't fix the stuff that's been blown apart either. Nope. I said I fixed anything and everything that broke. Nothing Okay, broke. but he's running behind from everything that broke before. So? 
Uh, you don't have to we point that tires. Out. Did we talk about the tires on the truck? Nope. Yeah, we talked about that last week, didn't we? Mm -hmm. no, I don't know. Well, just in case okay. we didn't talk about this, just here's a short version. Just in case we didn't, yep. We were driving along, and the other two just swelled right up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Front two tires just swelled right up, and they the back two not. tires went well, The two back, I got two flats driving down the road at the exact same time. No, oh, they were like seconds apart. Okay, so we're changing the one while the other one's hissing and going down. And I only had one spare. So we then, pulled it down. So we called Jake and he came and helped us get it off. We got it done, brought it right home, right? Yep. Blocked it up. Now, the problem is, is that the truck tires are 285s and apparently everybody around here uses 265s. Yep. So we had to order them. So I ordered them that night. It was Monday night. They were supposed to be here, what, Tuesday morning? Wednesday. Or Wednesday morning. Yeah, because he so wasn't going to be able to order, order them until that next morning and he could have them by Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, so Wednesday we call and we're like, is there tires? Is there tires? No, and they messed no. up the order. They messed up the order. So they actually put together a set of Hard spare ball. tires, just odd mix and match. They were the same two sides on the, because we rotated the tires to the back and we're putting the new ones on the front. Um, so the two, the two on the front were two sizes smaller than the two on the back. But it, I mean, it looked funny, but not bad. No, it still drove good. That's right. And I got my tires Friday morning at 6.30 in the morning right before I went to work. Right? I didn't get them for you. You got them put on, so that's good. Uh, what else happened? That's it, folks. That's all, folks. Goodbye. Uh-uh. That's -uh, Wednesday. All right. So that happened. That's many fences. Yep. Right? In the yarn farm. We've been doing tours. Right? Yep. You sold a bunch of yarn today. Right? We sold, had tours today. We had the kids group out. I think that was old news, so wasn't it? Um, yep. Wednesday, we had a bunch of people here. Correct? Yep. We had tatters here. We had a bunch of people here. We'll get into that on the family part, huh? On the porch. In the, in the farmhouse. So, in the garden... What was that? Hang on, do your little anecdotes later. Um, in the field. I have to tell you. I can't tell the camera. I have to hide them out here. They can't hear you either. I know. Because we got the air conditioner to put in too. They can't hear you. He says there was that thing. But he can't tell the camera, so he's got his hands up. I don't want to go left. He doesn't want you to lip read. I don't want you to repeat everything I say either. <laughs> And he doesn't want me to repeat everything I, he says either. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping me. It's a secret. Oh, it's a secret. Okay, so tell me what it is. <laughs> it's a big, big secret. It's a big, big secret. Okay, so tell me what it is. <laughs> Why not? Because you're repeating everything I say. <laughs> We don't have a big secret. Yes, we do, but it's going to come out here in a minute. Okay, so moving on. We have on. a big secret? In the <laughs> we have a big secret, folks. <laughs> and uh, your eyes are open. <laughs> why has it been open, Mom? Well, you said you went through the whole, you were going to go through the whole podcast without them being open, and you had your hands up so we couldn't see that they were open. I changed my mind. <laughs> um, we have a big secret, folks. In the field. We have what a big have we secret. In, quit shaking the camera. In the fields, anything going on in the garden? Not really. Um, the There's goats keep me. getting in there. Up on right? me, rabbit in the garden. The goats keep getting in there because somebody doesn't shut the gate, right? Right? They just jump. No, they don't. The babies don't jump. They have wings. They're little angels. They just <laughs> flutter over. They <laughs> land. We go munchy, munchy, munchy. They come back and flutter back. RJ hasn't gotten not one strawberry out of his thing. Have they pulled up the plant yet, or have you paid attention? I've been scared to go look. Yeah. All right, so in the farmhouse, we have a lot going on in the farmhouse. So yep. first things first. We got us a little dog over here scratching in his behind, literally Moves. bald. Psst. Stop. 
he's got it's a ball. time and he's Bye. got allergies and he's so close to the ground that he itches all the time and mm-hmm. so if from I like the, if i give him the medicine down he's bald if, if i give him the medicine all he does is sleep all day and he's not really happy he just kind of <laughs> you know so it's a lesser of two evils i give him oatmeal baths and we do what we can anyway and if he gets really really itchy i do give it to him but mostly before he goes to bed. Oh, sweet. So, all right, come on. Hey. Oh, sweet. Come on. Sweet. Wednesday. What happened Wednesday? Son. Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, is this the day we're talking about the big secret? We had a big secret. Well, there's no. What What's happened on secret? Wednesday? The big secret is coming. What happened on Wednesday? I don't Wednesday? know what our big secret is. Can you tell me what our secret is? Well, I will as soon as you tell what happened on Wednesday. Oh, a whole bunch of people showed up here. We had a killer at a party. Thank you. Please tell me what the secret was. <laughs> You're going to tell more than that. <laughs> Just whisper okay. in my ear. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm a dork, Mom. What's the secret? <laughs> Come on. Do Wednesday. So Wednesday we had a special day planned because we had a visitor coming back, which was Storm, correct? Yep. All right, so Joe, Ross, and Sherry showed up with Storm and another horse that he had to have for teamwork, and they were on their way to South Dakota for the junior high national finals. Um, and we had a blast. There was also two other families with them, correct? There was Neil, I can't remember his wife's name, and five little girls. And then there was, what was the other guy's name? John. John. He had a really heavy accent, and his son Justin. All the kids were out here roping and and just run pins and just having fun. Um, it was a day of it was their break in between. They got here, they spent the night. They got here probably what five o'clock, four o'clock. Five fifteen, four thirty. I had watermelon cut up. It was either four thirty or five fifteen because he texted me and said, "Yeah." And I don't know what time it was. Um, but I had watermelon cut up. I had. Baked a Ooh, ham. That sounds good. I'm done with this. I had, okay, just set it there and I'll feed it the dogs. I had baked a ham. Joe said he was cooking some dinner. Now, Joe is from Louisiana. And when he says he's cooking, son, what kind of food does he cook? Cajun style, not burnt. Not burnt. We call burnt food Cajun style, but spicy Cajun food. And they called it rice and gravy. It was awesome. Remember that I'm not from here and I don't care. I love spicy and ah, my nose itches. I'm sorry. Thanks I like lying. spicy. No, it means I probably got a booger up there. You guys want some? It's only missing a bite. Um. I didn't say I asked you. I asked the camera if they wanted some. Thank you. You didn't get me not one little slice. Go back and get me a slice. There's not any left. Yes, there is. There's a whole half of watermelon in there. Or slice me off a piece. You got two choices. Get me watermelon, or you're going to face plant that one. Not just a little dinky bite. Look. Said slice me off a piece. Fine. I did. Um, anyway, so Joe cooked rice and gravy. And it was gravy with meat. And it was, there was sausage and some kind of pork in there. And. It was a thick gravy, and the rice takes the heat out of it. Um, oh, I'm not a spicy food person. No, but he did try it, didn't you? It's all right. And then we had two tatters show up, and these guys are from Pennsylvania. So we've got two Pennsylvania guys. And yeah, dude, it sounds like he just Louisiana. Came yeah, and I'm telling you, John's accent is so thick. He really sounds Louisiana. Um, if that's even a word. And then there's us, and RJ and uh, Joe were teaching the tatters about the West and telling stories about rodeo and all this stuff. And pretty much it was amazing because you had kids out there roping, and they were in the two tatters were really interested in it. And so we had people of all ages, all walks of life riding all different kinds of saddles, sitting around swapping stories and just late, late into the night. Yeah, over a campfire late in the night. It was awesome. Um, there was uh, 
antidote is that kids were playing games, you know, playing and doing things they probably shouldn't have been doing, but we don't care. Uh, they got up the next morning and went on, right? Mm -hmm. I had to go to work, so RJ got them. The, the men got up. Neil was up and doing chores and, and all that. We found room for all the horses. Just had a blast, didn't we? Yep. So what we did find out, though, is Storm is headed after South Dakota. She's making a little loop, and she's going to end up down in Guthrie. What's in Guthrie, son? Uh, Little Britches Finals. National Little Britches Finals. It's like NLB whatever. And who else is down there for... Contaminated it. <laughs> you contaminated my watermelon. It's just one little spot. There you go. Now it's not contaminated. <laughs> there you go. I had a little like, <laughs> and now it goes. It's a dipper. That's not the big dipper. The big oh, yeah, dipper's bigger? right there. <laughs> That's a big dipper. Good at big. Dipper. Okay, so anyway, they're gonna end up at the Little Britches Finals, correct? Yep. And who else is gonna be at Little Britches Finals? Carson with Precious. And Precious is being nominated for the Big Secret. Is being nominated for what? Horse of the Year. Yes, for course of the year. So, um, and the two, the sad thing is, is that Precious and Storm both has, have to compete against each other, do they not? In the camp for big events. Yes. So, it'll actually come down to not just the horses, but the kids. Yep. Correct. Mm -hmm. If you had to compete, and you were riding each one of them, which one do you think is the better horse for camp for events? Um, you can make either, pick? no, because you can make either one of them look good, huh? Nope. Yep. He can make a run. It's going to come down more to the kids than the horses. But it's awesome. I mean, we have Little Bridges Finals, and we have two horses sitting there at it, and one is being not, one that we know of. I haven't, Joe and them, have they said anything about nope. Storm? So, I mean, they didn't say she'd been nominated, but Carson got a hold of us, and, and he's, ecstatic isn't he yep so she is going for horse of the year i will be putting up um the story that was used to nominate her on carson's you know we keep track of them on our website and i'll post a link to that down below in the description box so that um because i've got some new pictures of ross he won six belt buckles at the highest junior national setting a record for the most won at that um, that school's at state's national final, whatever. Um, so him and Storm won six belt buckles, and he won the most of them. Correct. And a bunch of belt buckles. It was a bunch. Um, he did really good. So him and Storm are kicking butt. Um, Precious and Carson are doing awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So watch for that we will post it and i also will be posting it on facebook because we definitely want to give carson and precious the attention that is due them i know that we gave ross and storm a lot of attention on facebook just because we had an amazing night and i mean but don't forget these kids work their butts off with those horses it's not just about us training them to be good horses is it so, those kids have to practice they have to match as a matter of fact we had another kid come out and try a horse and he just didn't match with him so it is what it is you know um but we did pretty good right so we're excited now next week what are we doing next week it actually starts friday after i get off work right we're cutting out we are cutting out Goodbye. Friday night, no, not right now. Friday night after work. You have to keep talking until Friday night after work. <laughs> Friday night after I get off work, 
Well, it actually starts Friday because you're going to go get Macy, mm -hmm. right? And <coughs> then you and her are going to rodeo Friday night. Saturday, we leave to go on vacation. Yep. I am the only one going on vacation for the entire week. Correct? Yep. So. Everyone else of us has adult responsibilities that we cannot shuck off. Sorry. Oh, we forgot to tell the other surprise, too. <gasps> Can I tell this one? Sure. Mom bought a card. <laughs> I did. It'll go 140 miles an hour. The speedometer says it'll go 140 miles Oh, if the speedometer will go that fast, <laughs> it'll go that fast. <laughs> It better never go that fast. Well, we would never say never. I mean, you never no, know when you better need to never get go some, that fast. You never know okay, when you so need to get up, somewhere. Okay, so back up, back up, back up. Helicopter speed. Because <laughs> the helicopter will go 172 miles an hour. And you know this how? Because we were going to a radio, and I said that was a long drive, <laughs> and we could make it faster if we flew. So we googled how fast the helicopter would go. <laughs> So, we're all going to chip in and invest in a helicopter. We don't have to buy tires anymore, either. <laughs> but, we don't know how we're going to get our horses there. <coughs> because we That's don't true. think they will load on the helicopter. There's no space for them. But we're going to get a big helicopter, you know? Like the ones that have the tanks in them? Those swing down below. No, no, no. Like the ones that the parachute guys jump out of. We're gonna okay, get, those are DC we'll some shit on, and they're not helicopters. They are they're have such a heavy airplane they have to have two propellers on top. Those uh, are airplanes, not helicopters. Well we'll we'll get some Shetland ponies to ride <laughs> Strap them to the hood or something. We don't Okay, so we're gonna take off and we're going to go on vacation. It will be MIA. Yep, and that means no podcasting that weekend. We will podcast a Sunday after we get back. We get back um, the 6th. It will be the 7th before you see a podcast from us. Um, I do have one video I've we got to miss seeing make. all your bright and shiny faces every week. Um, I'm going to go out, and before we get gone, I've got a video about the pop-up loader. A gentleman's wanting to know he lives in a different country and he wants to know how it works. We're going to stand it up and show the mechanics of it. So, if you're not into haying, you're really not going to enjoy that video, but if you want to learn to make one or learn how it works, you'll be fine. Um, so, I am going to leave Saturday morning early, and I am going to tootle my way in my new car. I think it was 140 miles an hour. <laughs> you could be there in a couple hours. Um, it only takes like two and a half hours to get there. Maybe you'll be there in an hour. So, anyway... We've got a big condo that sleeps eight. RJ will be there Saturday, Sunday, and then him and Macy have to come back Monday, right? Yep. Then my daughter and her husband will be there Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, middle day, like two o'clock, they leave. And then I don't leave till the next Saturday at like 10 o'clock, whatever time I want to check out actually, but anyway. Yeah, I'm going to check out at 5 in the morning. I know it. And then I'm going to toodle on back. I think I'm going to stop at... Um, no, you're not. Why not? I don't know. I just want to say that. Baker's Creek is right up that way. It's kind of out of path, but if I do it on my way home, it's cool. So, I might be doing that. Don't know. I'll take my phone with me, and if we decide to do anything, get any footage, we'll do um, that. But other than that, we will be on vacation. So, it's all good. Surf up, dude! I don't know how to surf or swim, but hey. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do, what are the, some of the things we're going to do on vacation? Laser tag. We're going to play putt-putt golf. Putt-putt golf. We're Multiple gonna, times. I love putt-putt drift, golf. Drift. Um, I'm the, terrible go, at it, go but I've been practicing on my swing. Do look, folks. What kind of go karts are those? The, the drift carts. The drift carts. Okay, so we're gonna do that. You guys are gonna do laser tag. Oh yeah. We're gonna go see the fish again, right? Fishy, fishy. Blum, 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 the dam blum, blum, museum. Blum. Yep. And what else? Um, I don't know. 
Right. Anything else we stumble our way into? Yep. We have a habit of just stumbling around. Hey, hey don't spill all the juice out. I've been uh. digging a valley. Not you're spilling the juice, mom. Got to eat over here, right there. Come on, eat. You messed it up. You have to eat right there. What choking? Don't die on the camera. Hurry up! It's gonna spill. Look at your fork. <laughs> Here, eat this. <laughs> you have to. You started it. You must finish it. You're gonna lose all the juice. <laughs> Why can this all the way across the table? Well, you're the one that messed it up. Look at that right there. It holds it just perfect. And you ate out of the side too much and made it slope off. Come on, eat it. Finish it. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't know there was an art to eating watermelon. Yes. So you keep the juice in there. Here's a novel idea. Put it on a plate like a normal person. Well, this is how you eat watermelon without a plate and without getting the counter all sticky. I'm too late for that. Well, it's a good thing you're the cleaning lady around here because it's your <laughs> fault. This is your fault. Okay. And once I get to laugh and I'm useless, just ask him. Yeah, you said she couldn't eat a piece of watermelon. <laughs> Jim and Christmas, folks. Okay. Oh. I'm done laughing. I'm done laughing. No, you're not. <laughs> so, I am in a good mood because, like I said, I'm going to have both my kids on a vacation for the first time in a really long time, correct? Oh, just about 20 years. Mm -mm. 10 years. Like... How old are we? we went to Florida. Sister is still in high school. Yep, she was. I that think was like she was seventeen. Years. I haven't been in high school. In I know. I think she years. was seventeen. So, gosh, it's been like thirteen, 13 years. years. Thirteen or fourteen years. I was wow. almost right at my twenty years. <laughs> Who's almost right at twenty years? It's been almost so. fifteen. Yep, and I'm gonna have my kids. I don't have them like for a lot of time, but I have them. Together. Just long enough for each other to get on each other's nerves and try and kill each other. Yes. Just like good old days. And we're, well, and that's when we're doing the laser tag and drift carts. So we can take our aggressions out on somebody get, else's property. Because they get pretty much competitive, don't you? Yes, when we can take our aggressions out on somebody else's property. We don't break our own things. Pow! So, but we've got a, a big condo that's got even a jacuzzi in my bedroom. It's at a resort. They've got pools, waterfalls, waterfalls in the pools, hot tubs, shuffleboard, volleyball, basketball, hiking trails, an actual waterfall that you can hike down to. I'm hoping to get some really pretty pictures of my kids. Um, what else? Why don't you go hiking? Just down to the waterfall. You already know where it's at. So. Can I take a helicopter? No. Too many trees. Um, oh, I can do one of them things like you do in the movies. But they just jump out with a little rope and they go Ying. I'm pretty sure he's going to try it and I'll get some pictures and we'll post them but yeah I want a helicopter folks if any of you people are rich and you want to donate a helicopter preferably with a full tank of fuel because I don't know what that costs but it probably costs a lot so when it runs out of fuel I will bring it back because I probably won't be able to afford to fill the tank but it will be fun for okay, a short you time you know that you have to have a pilot's license to fly it right? Well, I'll just go to the arcade and play one of those games and learn how. Nope, I actually looked in to get my pilot's license for helicopter. And there's a place in Independence that teaches it. It can't be that hard. It's just a blade up there spinning a million miles an hour. Held on by a Jesus nut. Okay, so I know one thing about helicopter. You don't take the Jesus nut off, and you don't need Jesus. Take it off, you guarantee you every time it goes up, dude. If you take that nut off, you're guaranteed to need Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, enough about helicopters. We're going to have fun. I'm going to get rid of some stress. We're going to laugh fun, a lot. Fun, 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 Because I'm um, the only one. We're taking a ham. Sister's taking ribs. Um, we're pretty much going to make pre-make a bunch of food and then just eat on them regularly, right? And we're going to go out and eat some, right? I really hadn't planned on it. Oh. <laughs> But 
We also have, and there's your phone. Yep. Who's that? Austin. Take it? Yeah, I do. Okay, go take it. I'm going to wrap up. So, anyway, we are planning that, but we won't be podcasting that Saturday. Friday is when Macy gets here, and RJ and her will be rodeoing that night. And then Saturday, I leave early so that we're down there, and then they're coming down. He's going to make a rodeo Saturday night. Then um, she has some obligations with another rodeo company on Monday, so he'll be leaving like midday Monday to get back to get her where she needs to be through the 4th of July he will be rodeoing it I don't know that was his buddy uh, that they're entering together and riding together uh, so yeah we got plans it's a busy week um, we're gonna have fun I'm definitely gonna have fun and relax and be on vacation fun 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 because I'm the only one fun 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 till her daddy takes the T-bird away that's quoting Tigger off Winnie the Pooh mom that's what a Beach Boys quoting? song. What were you quoting? It's a Beach Boys song. Tigger, off Winnie the Pooh, does not quote a Beach Boys song. No, but you know what event it is? I'm a bouncer. Cause, oh, what is that? Dang it. Uh, something about all I ever remember is fun, 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 fun. Because I'm the only one. Tiggers are wonderful what? things. Tiggers are wonderful things. Something. Bounce them and smash them. Or, uh, all you winning the Pooh fans, help me out here, folks. I don't know. Don't care. Don't remember. Because I'm the only one. I'm going on vacation this weekend. Don't I'm going to take that movie with us so we can watch it. Christopher Robin? Yep, I'll take it. So, yeah. Has Macy seen it? Probably not. She's not a movie watcher. Okay, but that song isn't in. Yes, it is. It's in the thing right there at the tennis court when he bounces out of the woods to the little girl. And she goes, what are you? And he goes, you? I'm a tigger. Tiggers are wonderful, wonderful things. things. Yep. Our tops are made out of rubbers. Our bottoms are made out of springs. We're bouncy, 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 bouncy. Fun, 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 fun. The most wonderful thing about tiggers is I'm, I'm the, the only, only one. one. Oh, I'm, I'm the, the only one. I told you know it. <sighs> Thank you. Yes, it just takes me a little bit. I know you listened to it a bunch enough as I was a kid. He loved Winnie the Pooh. His first bedroom had like barn doors, blue skies, balloons, and Pooh being carried away on it. Clouds. Oh, huh. yes. <laughs> so, yep. Tops are made out of rubber. Bottoms, bottoms are made out of springs. Made out of springs. springs. We're bouncy, 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 bouncy. bouncy, bouncy. bouncy. Fun, 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 fun. fun, fun. fun. The wonderful, the wonderful thing about tiggers, tiggers is I'm the only one. one. Oh, I'm the only one. one. Yeah. Okay, we're done with that. I finally figured it out. Only took 39 minutes. And you didn't figure it out. I had to sing the whole dang thing. Well, you knew what exactly. <laughs> I knew you'd know it. I just had to say it enough. I know. And he did that when he was little. He used to run around bouncy, bouncy, fun, fun, fun. Most bouncy, bouncy, fun, fun, fun. Because I'm the only one. And he thinks he's the only one. All right. There's only one of me in this world, Anyway, folks. so vacation. I'm the one. The only. A lot going on. I will post the stuff about Precious and Ross. Yep. Hopefully while I'm on vacation. That's the only work I'm going to do is get those two pages updated. Um, like I said, I've got some better pictures of Ross. Um, we're going to add on to it. Uh, but, yeah. He's doing good, right? Yep. Both of them are doing good. So... Uh, anything else you got to add? That one thing? Nope. What else? We done told them our secret. No. Uh oh, you disappeared. <laughs> so, what was our secret? She was adopted. <laughs> I am adopted, you dork. <laughs> That's not even. How is that a secret? I traded her in for a newer Oh, mom. you adopted me? Yes, yes, I did. Oh, no. Well, Jake and Chris and them would be happy to know that you adopted me. Then. Yep. I adopted you. Anyway. Just because you knew. Oh. Our tops are made out of rubber. Our bottoms are made out of spray. And if you've watched this long, you're dedicated. So I'm going to ask that you give Ashley some prayers. She is our intern, and she's having a little bit of 
family turmoil right now. And uh, I spent, what, Sunday with her going around and just, we didn't do anything but walk in, in stores and talk and I ended up buying a pair of shorts. They were on sale and they actually looked decent and I was getting ready for vacation. Oh, and we both got, I picked up two little Believe necklaces. It's just a square and it says Believe in it. I believe I can fly. She I can touch the sky. So, um, say an extra prayer for her with her family. Um, it involved police and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, and I'm getting squished out of camera again. Hey, come on, finish up. Come oh, I on. am. I am finishing up. Right, Nighty me. night, folks. Oh, oh, you got me. Oh, she hit me. I'm dying. I'm dying. My ring. Oh. I have my ring on it. I'm dying. Oh, oh. right there. Ah, ah, oh. I'm dead. Come on, I'm dead. Play. Okay, stop. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. I'm dead. Okay, go on the floor and die. <laughs> Bye, guys. We will see you later. Have I'm a great dead. Run. She murdered me. Go on blood. I'm dead. Unfortunately, oh. if he was dead, he wouldn't be making that much noise. Y'all have a good one. Oh. Bye. I've been murdered.